people who are speaking here the last two days, my heart was stirred up. And the devil started talking to me, you cannot speak like that. Better sit down, don't rise up to speak anything. And this morning when I was in prayer in the morning session, I started telling the devil, you are a liar. Yes. It is the anointing which can make the difference in our life. Yes. And I believe God has been dealing with me. It's more than a message today. I would like to talk something how God was dealing with me on two, three issues. Brother Marlowe was talking to me last year and he prophesied that you're going to be a blessing to India. Yes. Blessing to my city. And I saw it coming to pass yes. after 11 months. And I thank God for that. Yes. Whatever God tells, it happens, yes. provided we are available for Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And right today, when I was sitting here, God was showing me one verse. Genesis 6, chapter and the 6th verse. I want you to be stirred up today. I don't want you to go emotional. I don't want you to just rise up to this occasion and just shout and go home. I want you to go with the fire and the anointing of God. Yes. Amen. I want you to carry that anointing what you're carrying right here. When I look at that verse, it says, It's repented, Lord, that he had created man on this earth, and it grieved him at his heart. If we all can question ourselves, is God grieved with my life? Or is God happy about my life? That can solve a lot of problems in our walk with God. Because in India, I find we have too many Hollywood actors in the church. Mm. And the church should get rid of this Hollywood actors. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Last year, when Marlo was dropping me to the airport, we were crossing the coast, I mean the Gulf of Mexico, and he was telling me I belong to the fisherman community. That's right. And, uh, I was thinking in my heart this morning, we all belong to the fisherman community. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And I'm proud to belong to the community yes. because we catch the dead fish and lead them to life. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Like what they do. Yes. They catch the live fish and kill them. But we catch the dead fish and give them life. Amen. Hallelujah. So God has been dealing with me on two issues. One, doing the ministry with clear motives and clear intentions. Yes. As long as our motives are not clear in the sight of God, whatever we do, it grieves God. At the same time, we are ashamed to God. Amen. You are right. So I believe that when I come here to the United States, I was praying, Lord, let my motives be clear in your sight. Yes. Let my desires be clear in your sight. Yes, yes, yes. My yes. desire is to lift you up wherever I go. Yes. And my wife and I prayed that we are going to be like donkeys carrying you wherever you're going to take us. Yes. Because God died for me yes. that I should not bring shame to him. Yes. God separated me from this world yes. that I have to honor him and glorify him yes. and through my life. Yes. That is one area God has been speaking to me for quite some time. And wherever I go, I plead with my beloved God. Father, let my intentions be clear. Yes. Even if I go to a home and pray for a person, yes. I say, let my heart be clear, Lord. Yes. Not expecting anything from you, from anyone, Lord. Come on, come on. But expecting from you. Yes. Because you are the author and finisher of my faith. Yes. Amen. That is one area I believed that everyone sitting here should ponder over and say, Father, let my motives be clear. Yes. Let my desires be clear, Lord. Yes. I need to glorify you. Yes. 
people all over the world are bringing shame and it says the bible says it repented god for creating man on this world Amen. is god still grieving about you uh -huh. is god still grieving about your life on this earth? if i question that i can't help but cry father never never in this world lord i will grieve you my god hallelujah never i will grieve you the bible says curse to the man who does the work of the lord deceitfully and we cannot be cursed because of your various motives and i believe that god should speak to us today that is one area god spoke to me and i believe that everyone should be stirred up in their hearts that our motive should be clear maybe you might be a greatest preacher on the face of the earth if our motives are not right with god we are a disaster in god's hands god will not see us right if our intentions are not clear before god and i believe that god should take us home ignite us with a fire anointing that we could be totally different in this world we cannot be people walking with the contaminated life along with this world hallelujah Amen. hallelujah god wanted us to be different many are called the bible says but only a few are chosen and he wants that anointing to flow in and through your life hallelujah and the second issue god has been dealing was the anointing because i i i had to face very rough weather in my life i don't want to share anything to carry favor from people here neither to share anything to get your sympathy but i share everything for the glory of god and god is a testimony to whatever word i'm speaking here amen hallelujah and this anointing was one area where god has been speaking to me because god anoints us in trouble but not from trouble that was one area where i really uh, was uh, shocked to see how god was treating me in my uh, or, or god was leading me in and through my life because whenever i was facing trouble god was anointing me in my trouble and lifting me up when i was coming on the plane i was reading the judges uh, chapters in the judges and uh, the bible says uh, when the spirit of the lord came upon samson he did things he could not do hallelujah hallelujah when the spirit of god is upon us we can be a bomb in god's hand we can shake the nations for the glory of god we can bring down any stronghold of the enemy in this world and we can bring down every bondage of the enemy in this world provided you are clothed for that occasion hallelujah we have to be people prepared to be clothed when god really wants us to be anointed in this world and god all through my trials and tribulations when i was going through i was asking god why this lord to me and he started telling me i want you to go through this because he wants to show me that he's bigger than what i am facing in this world amen hallelujah amen hallelujah i want the church to be encouraged in this world and zechariah 13 chapter 8th and 9th verse that's something very powerful and i want you to go home and ponder over those two verses because and the bible says it shall come to pass in all the land says the lord two parts therein shall be cut off and die but the third part shall be left therein and i will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried they shall call upon my name and i will hear them i will say it is my people and they shall they they shall say the lord is my god this verse has been literally uh, uh, i mean doing something in my heart stirring up my heart to rise up a people who could be called people of the third part hallelujah amen hallelujah amen. god is in the process of refining his people and if you want to face his refining process you need the anointing of god upon your life amen. hallelujah amen. his refining is not easy his refining is not very uh, i mean it's not a cake walk you know because he wants to take you through the refining process and show how great a god he is amen. hallelujah amen. and i want to, uh the people sitting here and i believe that everyone sitting here should be part of the third uh, part he's going to talk about hallelujah and two parts therein shall be cut off and die i think he's in the process of uh, separating the two parts 